my name is Kenton Porker. I'm a research scientist who work for SARDI, based here in Adelaide, the White Herbray campus. So I work on a lot of, I guess, agronomy initiatives, particularly trying to understand how to get the most out of our current varieties. Pretty much, pretty much today, what I was trying to um, explain was if you get, when we're looking at the new varieties that are coming through, if you basically get your sowing date right and get your flowering date right and you've selected the right yield environment, you've pretty much done all you can to basically optimise yield in the current suite of varieties that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mainly talked about three varieties that were <clears throat> currently going through the malting accreditation process, which we're going to find out very shortly. So I talked a lot about Compass and Spartacus, so they are two that we'll find out about malting accreditation coming to this season, and also talked a lot about a European introduction, RGT Planet, which is a high yielding variety, and also Roslyn Barley, which is a feed variety, which is um, a particularly high yielding feed variety across most parts of South Australia. Mm -hmm. yep. And traditionally for malts, we've only got Commander and Latrobe really be the most common malts, along with Scope, sorry, the Clearfield variety in terms of malt. Yeah. So if these new varieties get accredited, I can see them, I guess, will transition to this newer type variety. So it's really important that growers understand how best to manage um, these varieties going forward. Mm -hmm. So if you talk about Planet, for example, so it's had a lot of hype coming out of Europe. It's done particularly well in the 2016, really nice wet conditions, almost like Europe that we had. I guess I wanted to make the point that we've seen it, only really seen it in high yield scenarios. So just, just be a little bit cautious if we're going to the lower rainfall environments where it's had limited evaluation. And, but if you're going to grow it, really, really put it in an environment that you expect it's going to do well and, and sow it a little bit earlier than our current varieties is really the key, key message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so traditionally, most of the spring barleys that we're common with in South Australia are really their, their yield is optimised around um, May sowing, so May 5 to May 15, and I think we can see something a little bit longer maturing like Planet can probably shift, I'm talking Anzac Day now, to May 5, so we've just had a little bit of a 5 to 10 day shift forward. Mm -hmm. I think it really opens up that window. We saw in 2016 that Planet was the only variety that fell below the minimum requirement for test weight, in, in national variety trials that is. And that, I think that comes out of Europe, they don't really have a big focus on selecting for test weight, so it's really something um, to be really mindful of. Mm. And we saw again last year, the planet was the lowest in test weight. So it is inherently lower in test weight compared to the current varieties we have. And then also talked a lot about um, grain field conditions. So planet sets up a lot of potential grains, has a really long spike, but what that can do is expose it to quality downgrading during, if we get a hot, hot spell during grain field, for example, it's just got simply too many grains there to try and fill and we end up with these smaller potential grains which can give you more screenings and give you a lower retention, which is a key requirement if it is a malting variety. Yeah. Uh, for me, just don't forget what's happened in the past. Like we have had dry springs before and we've probably seen a lot of performance data come out of um, uh, wet seasons. So yeah, typically have a go at some of these new varieties, but just remember that they may be more prone to some of these quality downgrading and they mightn't yield quite as well as you think in a low rainfall environment where we get typical hot dry dry spring so I think there's a great excitement about barley at the moment like we've certainly got some varieties coming through that have really good yield potential and I think we can really try and push yield some of the yield boundaries in barley but um just be aware that there is potential for some downside but hope, hopefully more upside yeah. in the new varieties.